Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Hey, I don't know about you, but um, a lot of my friends, and maybe it's you personally too, are just been going through aging parents' season of life. I know a good friend of ours, Doc, uh, who is on our Wednesday night call, helping now lead the earlier call, just lost his mom this past week. And, and Doc, you know, I'm praying alongside of you, uh, really proud of you, how you took that drive to spend that time with your mom just two days prior before her passing into the arms of Jesus. It makes me kind of reflect back on time with my dad who passed away in November of 2016. And one of the things that we loved doing together was fishing. And there's times when we're in the boat, he was an expert expert like master fisherman of bluegill he just loved catching them loved cleaning them and then of course loved eating them well we would go out and there's times we just wouldn't really say much at all um but being together was awesome and then we'd take our little breaks he would bring snacks uh one of my favorites was beef jerky and a really really cold mountain dew and we'd sit and have that little snack. I was in the front of the boat and had my rod behind me and we're just facing each other, um, just talking about the day. And all of a sudden he jumps like over me, grabs my rod, sets the hook and reels in a really big, like over your hand size bluegill. And it happened like so fast. And once he got it in, put it in our basket over the side of the boat, he just looked at me and said, son, you always got to be aware when you're out here fishing. And man, oh man, what a great life lesson. Just always be aware. And how many have I let go past me because of that? Because he saw the bobber moving and just went and bam, got it. All right, that's going to lead me into the verse. There is a point to this, all right? It's uh, chapter 5, verses 9 and 11 for me. Here we go. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. So that's my G for getting a grip on God's word in chapter five of Luke. My reveal is Jesus does a miracle to meet the need of Simon and his partners and meets the need in abundance and then gives them the vision and the mission of catching men. My implementation by reading this is I must always remember that it will be Jesus that brings in the fish, the men. We just have to make ourselves available and keep casting and be and remain aware. All right, my P, my prayer back to God is, Lord, equip and empower me to become a master fisherman of men. Help me to always be aware in order to be used by you all for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's my grip on chapter five of Luke. I would absolutely love to hear uh, what verse rise, rose up for you? And let me go ahead and uh, close this out for with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, God, for your, just for your message day in and day out in your living word. Lord, as we really get a grip on a verse or two, Lord, it's amazing to me just how they come alive and how we can really implement them into our life. So, Lord, uh, please continue to guide us, direct us. Um, Lord, be with all the families and my brothers here that have parents either aging. Uh, I think of Steve, who just lost his father last month, and Doc, who just lost his mother this week, and many others dealing with the aging parents' season of life. Lord, help them to finish strong as a son. And Lord, help us to be available to you, your work here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day.